Hi, good morning. Um, so recently the Mixed Reality Toolkit 2.0.0 version got officially released by Microsoft. And uh, here you go. I created a, a theme. I mean, I borrowed this theme called the Mixed Reality Capability Viewer in the examples. And I added some buttons that allows me to browse through uh, multiple themes in the toolkit examples so here you go um, the first thing I noticed though is that it seems the spatial awareness mesh and planes are not available on HoloLens as I have this app currently deployed on my HoloLens so let me click a button so this sim is called spatial awareness mesh demo and it doesn't seem to be working um, as you can see no matter how I tap it doesn't seem to register any spatial mesh um, like he used to do with HoloLens spatial mapping. Okay, uh, here is another scene. Uh, this is called the pressable button example. So here you can press on, you can see the different, what they call affordance when you look at different buttons. And here I can press that button. Here, a little bit of sound. I really like this one, the shell one. It highlights it into a 3D shell when you gloss over it, otherwise it stays flat. So yes, you can play piano, but you know, it's one air tap at a time. Okay, let's try the next scene. Okay, this is, uh, um, oh, this thing is a bit harder to see. This is called the manipulation handler example. Okay, so I think I can manipulate this ball like this. I can make it bigger, make it smaller, and I can drop it. Okay, let's see the next one. Uh, solver examples. I didn't quite get this scene. This part I understood. Basically, when you move around, it's going to be in between. Um, and you have something here like surface magnetism. So when I look around, it, it stuck, sticks to the surface. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. And what if I do a hand target? I'm not sure if the hand target is working. How about head target? Okay, head target is fine. Oh, it's still with service magnetism. Uh, in the orbital view, I believe the bo the coffee cup is right beneath my field of view. So on HoloLens 1, it's very hard to see it, but I can sometimes see the arrow pointing up if I'm moving fast enough. Maybe I'll try this radio view. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, it's there. Okay, uh, let's try the next thing. Okay, this is called audio occlusion demo. Okay, I think the challenge is that I need to walk behind that wall there, but it's actually further behind my physical wall. Um, when I tried it yesterday, I was able to hear some audio occlusion, which is pretty cool. Uh, once I stand behind the wall. Okay, next. Boundary visualization. Okay, I'm not, so, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see in this, because again, the spatial mapping just doesn't seem to be working. Like, the cursor is constantly floating at a fixed distance from, uh, from a HoloLens. And it doesn't seem to latch on to any spatial mesh. So, again, not so sure what happened there. Okay, hand interaction examples. Okay, this is cool. Uh, this is probably, you know, the most complete example that we see from um, the HoloLens 2 launch. So, let's see what I can do here. So, I can, well, obviously, 